Continue with our un restricted free agent series right and it says 410 so we're not gonna go crazy long with it but just enough to get your beak wet and obviously from there five go, a piece you know we, after that we know y'all get a chance to really talk and yes i'm with you on that five piece and that'll give us time for our picks at the end to have a okay. little fun before we completely blast off on this weekend show but um let's start with juju smith schuster and this for the chat as well um with him unrestricted free agent do you bring him back for me, I'm torn because I saw his market a year ago, and that was him coming off a really good season. And obviously, he came back to us for one year, eight million dollars. Now we know the rest of the deals, the rest of the years were voided out. So I'm asking myself, after how this season played out, where the productivity took another hit. Obviously, he missed a lot of time because yeah. of the injury. But when he came back, it still didn't look like it was anything special at that time. Now I'm trying to figure. Do I even want to pay him eight? Because to me, I would not. I would personally keep him in that three to five range. I think mm -hmm. that's where he's at right now. And oh, even going three? <laughs> I will make my case for why I say three and why I say five. And then we'll go from there, okay? I say three because right now, is he an elite slot receiver in the NFL? His best attribute is what? Blocking and trying to get combat catches on a linebacker or a undersized or a safety that doesn't know how to play the ball. But if you say, hey, I'm going to put a coverage linebacker on him, he's going to struggle. He doesn't create separation. We so, saw that in the Titans game right. last year. So that's the biggest reason why I would say the $3 million because I'm like, what am I paying for if I'm paying for just a glorified receiver that can block? And give me a you know you got the combat catches I love that but if that's all you can give me I don't want to pay you five for that I think I can find that a lot cheaper maybe even a draft guy you know what I mean if that was the case yeah but the reason I say five is because we know he has some of the intangibles the run after the toughness the commitment to being on a team especially in Pittsburgh like that's the part where I say five but then likes I, it here yeah. yeah but then I ask myself who do I think I can get more out of for five million dollars. Juju Smith-Schuster or James Washington. And the fact that I'm having that legitimate conversation in my head, that's another reason why I say I wouldn't go over five. Because to me, when I go over five, I feel confident in that player that, hey, you're the best guy on this team right now for that job. And right now, I can't definitively say that I feel like Juju is just light years ahead of James Washington. I know Juju has the statistics, but we said the lion's share of Juju statistics comes from under AB. Since AB has not been here, Juju has not even been close to that same caliber of receiver. And obviously that was reflected last year with his market. So it's not just me feeling like this. This is a league wide thing. He came back for one year, eight mil. We know he had other offers on the table that were more incentive based and things like that. They were all one year though. But the, yeah, it was nobody that was really loving him. Nobody that wanted to commit to him because of those things that I just brought up right here. So that's for me why I say in that three to five range, if it's there, I can make a case for me bringing him back. But even then, I'm still not 100% sold that, hey, I feel like this guy has to be here because he makes this team that much better. But when we talk about the intangibles that I talked about, him loving it here, him being just a good locker room guy, like you do got to put a premium on that as well, as we've seen with other talented guys. You can't always just assume that they're going to be good locker room guys. Even if they do got cool initials like an A and a B. <laughs> I think he'd be yeah. good for either one of these young quarterbacks, too. Yeah. It looked like he had a little connection with Mason in that Browns game. Mm -hmm. It was weird back in 2019 with Mason because Juju was hurt in and out of the lineup. He wasn't having his best. Like I don't think he played enough with Mason to mm -hmm. really get um, a good report, a good Correct. idea for yeah. their report with Mason. But he did look good with him in that Browns game because he made some like really nice catches and stuff, kept the chains moving. Yeah. Who do you think's better for Mason? Like just let's just assume Mason's the guy. Who do you think is better between Washington and Juju? Because Washington didn't do much with Mason in the press. This is, this is my question. Uh, well, no, I, and <clears throat> answering it, honestly, I lean James solely because Juju doesn't create a ton of separation, and we haven't seen Mason really take chances throwing the ball in tight windows. That's all. And I feel like with Mason, we've at least seen him throw the ball downfield, and we know with James Washington, at least that's – a clear defined characteristic from him. He will go up there and high point that ball. That is something that he does. So for me, I would say that because I don't feel, I, 
sitting here today, think about some of the throws we would see Ben make to Juju, where he's putting that ball on the backside of a linebacker's ear right here. That Titans game from a year ago. Them balls was here and here. Perfect placement where Juju could get it. That safety couldn't be a factor, but that linebacker had to. If he turned his head the wrong way, if that ball's too far this way or that way, those incompletions or interceptions. I haven't seen Mason take those chances. So if you're not going to take those chances, Juju's not a guy that's going to run away from people. Juju's not a guy that's going to be running wide open. If anything, I would probably say Ray Ray McLeod is the best <laughs> option for him because Ray Ray at least gets mm-hmm. defined separation that he can see. Ray Ray in that Lions game, right? Yeah. He was the number one option. I told you because he will get defined separation and Mason can physically see him open. Whereas with Juju, he's not going to be able to look and say, oh, Juju is clearly open. He can look at James and say, 50-50, just throw it up. My guy be an athlete. But he can't look at Juju and feel confident like that. And that's why I say probably Ray Ray. <laughs> as bad no. as it is, but he is, bro. I'm with you on the number. I yeah. didn't think you were going to go as low as three. I was thinking five to six. Now, how good would I feel about like six? I don't know if I'd feel good about if it, as long as it's a one-year deal. If it's multi-year, I, I would was, want it more than the yeah. three or four. But. What three I'm thinking f- of it, I'm thinking of as multi year. That's what three I'm saying. Three like for per, 15 per or 16, average. 17, yeah. like that. Yeah, that ain't bad. I mean, because yeah. he's talking about wanting to be back for four years. So here's some of the other guys that are unrestricted. Mm-hmm. AJ Green. It looked like he his contract was six million this year. Mm-hmm. Manuel Sanders, his was six million this yeah. year too. Like, how would you feel about those guys, older veterans right. versus Juju? But I feel like with both of those guys, they create, especially Manuel. I like Manuel's game for six. But we even talked about him and why I was a little, we were frustrated about like why wouldn't we bring him in yeah. during that time frame? Because I do feel like he can still get it done. He creates separation. He will. He would be a nice safety blanket. But Juju doesn't create separation like that. Like I said, Juju gives you the toughness though. Emmanuel was not blocking guys like Juju was going to be blocking guys. Juju directly impacts the running game largely. Like, we know that part. Whereas Emmanuel, AJ Green, they're not given that. But my question is, how much dollar value do I put on a receiver blocking? That's why I, that's why I said three to five, because I just feel like I can get that blocking and I can scheme it up if I have to way better than what we broke down in terms of why we having little guys trying to block big guys. We can adjust to find some guys to help block on the perimeter for some of these toss plays. But what we can adjust for is guys getting separation. If you can't get separation, you just can't get separation. And certain guys, I mean, even Claypool, he doesn't create a ton of separation. We talked about that with him. So that's... He should be. Right, but that's why I go back to that whole three to five because what am I paying for? If I'm paying for upper echelon, I want that upper echelon type of ability. And I just don't think I'm getting that right now with them. Should we go for a guy? I personally would, but here's the guys yeah. free agent wise. Godwin yeah. that was brought up mm-hmm. before Godwin, Allen Robinson. Like he's coming off the Devontae NCAA. Adams, there's no shot in how we're getting. Not him. a chance. Yeah, not a Will chance. like he's there's probably the top like three. Mm-hmm. Will Fuller, Chris Godwin, yeah. Allen Robinson. Fuller can't stay healthy. That's his Correct. problem. Mm-hmm. But he's a he's a stud though, too. Yeah. I like Godwin. I like Robinson's those three receivers. The, the best of the. Oh. I don't know how much I like paying them a ton of money. Though I like so them in the though. ten range. But that's my thing. It's like I would do that though. Ten. So think about this though. Would you pay Juju ten? Because no. for those guys, we're saying we pay them ten, and I can agree. But I could even talk myself down a little bit from ten for those guys. That's all I'm saying. So when I that's why when I said three to five, I'm like, don't look at it as disrespect. You know yeah. what I mean? Because it's like, man, I barely want to pay them. Outside 10. of Devontae Adams, yeah. there's not a guy, I don't pay guy them like, dudes that. like that. And just because you might have done it, you know, in your first two years, like how many Mike years Williams is in there that? too, actually. Yeah. That's not a bad option. Yeah. But like I said, with Claypool, are we just mm-hmm. getting like kind of another Claypool with him? I, I do yeah. think he took a step in the right direction this season. He did have a really good year. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know, though. See, if Goblin was coming off that ACL, I love, I would, I would love that one. True. Man. Him coming off the AC, I just don't know when he's prepared. I mean, we've seen very varying reports on how long it takes to get back from that thing now. So I'm looking at Fuller's set. Was he hurt all year too? I don't remember. Oh, this is a good one though, remember, actually. Bro. It's only a broken finger for Fuller. So it's not like one of like the knee ones or Achilles. You're right. And it because his stats are terrible yeah. this year. So mm-hmm. his market might go down a little bit. Mm-hmm. Actually, I like Fuller then. Out of those guys? So you like Fuller over Robinson? No, I just think his market might be a little uh, softer than Robinson's. Oh, you when you say like him, you're saying for us. Yeah, not yeah. Just in, okay, okay. Right, right. See, I was taking I'll take any three of those guys. Okay, I'll okay. take any three gotcha. of those guys. Yeah, I'm who's, you, I'll who's take got the best one. price? Yeah. That's my thing. 
Yeah, I'm with you on that, man. I'm with you on that. Godwin, though, I mean, you see how people come back from these ACLs. Well, which version? We saw Bush and we saw Banner. <laughs> oh, because I thought it was 13. No, I'm just saying in like, general. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying in general. Not our guys. Oh, I, I just hey, ain't ACL know, ain't the end of the world. I ain't, He's young know, still. I ain't know. He's going to be 26 this year. Why? Oh, uh, I'm with you on that. Uh, Resign Juju. Yeah, for something around five. Yeah. Maybe yeah, less than that if it's a multi year deal. Yeah, to me five like if we're talking five, like that's probably where I would want to stay at right now, high end. And that's because we like him. That's because he's been here and we know, you know, some of the other intangible things, but as a whole, I just I personally can't see it more than that right now, man. 